What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time watching, my name is Joseph Blanco. So we're gonna do a little bit of spear fishing today. If you watched my last video, you'll know that I was in Portugal. Some of my dive buddies invited me to go out, coincidentally the day after I got back. So I got in around 10 o'clock last night. It's now 7 a.m. So I would I would have thought my dive buddies would have had everything ready to go, but of course they didn't. So I'm gonna get the boat ready and I'll see you guys out there. We're getting to our first spot. Super flat out here. We're gonna get suited up and take a look. That's not good. What is going on everyone welcome back underwater so we got off to a late start today this first dive was around i believe it was 9 a.m maybe 9 30. forecast said we were gonna have good weather in the morning and it was gonna pick up in the early afternoon so we know we had a small window to work in so this is one of my first drops the current this day was ripping as you can tell i i take the dive maybe 15 20 feet off the spot i'm trying to hit just swim down and kind of let that current take me i line up on this mangrove here once again i'm not really kicking here just kind of letting the current take me that fish spots me so he goes under the rock typically these fish will get a little curious again and want to get a visual on where you are so as you can see he came back out of that rock and i was able to put a nice shot on him Brain and bleed my fish as usual. Don't want that fish suffering, and bleeding that fish helps with the meat quality. I had seen some small grouper throughout the day. I wanted to share this clip to show you how well these grouper can camouflage. So he's sitting right there under that steel beam. See him sitting just right there. So small fish, but pretty cool to see how well they camouflage. So this is switching to my dive buddy's camera. We had seen a couple sharks swimming around. Typically, if we see one and we don't have a fish in sight, we'll follow him for maybe about a minute just to see if something comes by and more often than not they'll lead us to some type of life you see this mangrove just speed on by and that buddy puts a nice shot in him stops him right in his track this fish ended up being 21 inches so it was a very very nice mangrove snapper So 
when I got home and rewatched the clip, I noticed that you see a grouper on his way out right there to the left as he's shooting this fish. I have to give a big thank you to that shark for leading us to dinner. Pronto. All right, we've been diving for an hour or two. We're gonna have some lunch and get back in. This is what we got so far. Two or three hours. So this is later in the day. This is a spot I've dove quite a few times. It's around 30 feet of water pretty nice cave so I'm coming down and as I peek my head I see a grouper just shoot to the left see me extend my gun there couldn't get a shot of him I come up fairly quickly he goes in the dark I didn't have a flashlight on me so I sent my buddy down to try to locate this fish so he goes down with a light to try to locate this fish now like I said I've doped this spot before I feel like I've seen this fish before. I've had another grouper around the same size. Same rock, behave the same way. Um, so like I said, he goes down with the light, tries to locate this fish. Unfortunately, we weren't able to locate him. Um, so we'll get him on the next trip. You know, for the most part, YouTube is a highlight reel. So I like to add some clips that show what really happens out there. All right, we're calling it a day. The current was ripping. We got a couple storms building. Uh, finished up with two mangroves and a yellow jack. I'll see you guys back at the dock. This is what we finished with. It's a nice mangrove. This one came in at 21 inches. It's a nice fish. We had some nice weather in the morning and then in the afternoon the current picked up and the thunderstorms rolled in. But we got enough for dinner so that's all that matters. Might make some sashimi with this later on. So I got a little tired after cleaning the boat and filleting the fish. So I let the fish cool overnight. Check this out. So I've cut the yellow jack uh, thinly. I'm gonna eat it with some avocado and soy sauce. Super simple, super easy, but super good. Let's give it a try. That's some good stuff. Super easy to make. Just a little bit of soy sauce. Cut everything thinly, can't go wrong. Check that out. All right, that's all I got for this video. Thank you for everyone who watched it. If you guys like to see more videos like this one, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.